All right, welcome back. Um, in this one, I'm gonna continue on the leans. I don't think I, sh I shared enough. I wasn't thinking too well. I don't think I shared enough um, about the leans, especially after looking around Harris County. I'll, I'll be honest, guys, I did not look at this county ahead of time. I kind of just picked it randomly. Um, I didn't want to do my own uh, San Diego County. Um, I want to pick a different city to see what's what's going on over there. And notice, of course, as we just see that saw, there's a, a lot of leans out there. And because of that, I want to show you and break down by the different types of lanes we can search by. So that way you can really set up your different campaigns, whether it's a mailer campaign, cold calling and, and whatnot. So I got back to Harris County. Again, we'll go back to owner occupied. Um, actually, we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and put any, whether it's owner occupied or not, whether it's vacant or occupied. We're going to go single family. I want to go after only single family homes. MLS status, off market, ownership info. I put, I'm gonna stick to two years. I feel like if you're under two years, I've noticed those type of homeowners, man, whether it's a small lien or not, they'll kind of just sit because they just bought the house. They'll, you know, they might not even know they have a lien and they'll kind of wait it out or at least try to fight or figure out a way to pay it off because they just bought the house. They're not as motivated. I like to go after people who've lived a little bit longer, but of course have the highest lien amount. Let's go back to lean and put active lean. The cool thing now with PropStream is you can search by the different types of liens. They had some of these, but they've actually added new ones. So of course we can filter tax liens. So we can see we got 4,000 tax liens, got an HOA lien. Quite a bit of HOA liens, and I know HOAs, man, they don't, they're not patient. They want to kick you out. So these are the type of people you can be a little bit urgent on your campaigns, tax liens. I know people kind of sit for a while, um, probably do a little bit slower drip there. It could be tax liens, could be you know a mix of text and ringless voicemails over a long dripper sequence. Maybe HOA be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe do a mailer campaign with them. Um, they now have solar liens. Um, nobody's got a solar lien out there. And they even got child support liens. Have that record. I notice there's quite a bit out here. And this is a list I would definitely um, be a little bit more ag aggressive with out there. So this is how I would kind of break it down. Um, if equity is you know, important for you, what do you want to go after? We always kind of just stick to uh, a, just a minimum of 20%, 20% equity. That's kind of our baseline where we start at. Um, nothing lower. But again, if you're going with the volume game, which everybody's kind of going that game of just buying everything, and especially if you have a good ad spend budget, really, if you know at some point over the next couple of years, you're going to own all the data in your market, just don't even bother with equity and just kind of leave that open. So that's how I would do that there. If we go back to um, this tab right here where the liens are at. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck this stuff. You can even filter by bankruptcy. This is a good list right here. I would even just pull that list and do this for one, you know, one month to spend my ad spend budget or one of my months ad spend budget and just get this list and kind of start that. Um, bankruptcy is always a good list to target. And that's kind of how I'd break it down. Um, let's see if we can even go by owner occupied. So as we can see here, actually didn't really change by switching it to owner occupied and if it's actually being occupied. Um, so that's a list I would pull right there for bankruptcy. Let's go back. You can even go by divorce. So there's a good 382. This was this would be one I'd be uh, really aggressive with, especially with divorce and attacking it. I would actually go back to if it's not owner occupied and whether it's vacant or occupied. I think it just went up a little bit, but not by a whole lot. And then, of course, I would just leave equity open. And I would go back to ownership info, and I would actually take away the minimum two years, and I would just go back to zero. Because no matter what, some, they're probably going to sell that house. That's how I'd handle bankrupt or divorce right there. I think in this tab, that is pretty much it. Obviously, you can go target you know, whether the lien was released. It could be a you know, slow game. Even though it's been released, you could probably... Um, target this group of people. I won't worry too much. I would kind of concentrate on active lean, active BK, and then going through a divorce right now. Um, divorce filing, usually the dates, 
Um, not too much. Lean them out. Definitely concentrate on. Um, but that should be a good list right there and give you some good ideas of how to target those, those types of uh, niches.